Scott here for Netbook News, and we're down here at the Intel booth, and here we've come across the ASUS ePad. Now, this is different from the e-tablet and the e what was it, Sketchpad that, that we were having earlier. So if you look at it, this is probably on the Menlo platform because it is so thin. If John, you just want to come on in a little bit closer, we'll just pass all the camera, whoo, the camera people there. This is so thin and it's actually a metallic finish on the front there. You can see it's got a, a, a nice, uh, almost like rubber eyes texture on the back. Very, very sleek, nice design. Not slippery at all like the, like the, uh, like the iPad would be. You can see a couple of vents around there, the ASUS logo. And if we could turn it around to the front again, our lovely model. <laughs> you can see this has a Windows 7 build on it. Now this actually does work. You can see that ASUS has actually put their um, their standard ASUS build on the front end. So we, we have to ask, I mean, this, like, this seems like more than just a reference design because they, 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 they've already polished it off, but you never know. We're not, we're not entirely sure what that is there. What, what's that feel like to you, Steve? Uh, it feels like a button. And if we can look around the other side, I'm not entirely sure what's there. We can, oh, see a couple of buttons. Looks like a micro USB on the side there. The tiny, tiny power. Oh, USB. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, headphone, microphone, and yeah, so excellent. So we're really excited to see what, what comes out of this e-pad because this isn't something that we saw at the ASUS press conference. It's something completely different. So I'm Nicole Scott from Netbook News down here at the Intel booth.